It was nothing quite like a surprise birthday party. But when Victoria's family decided to publish a book filled with her poetry and present it to her at her 65th birthday party, she was more than surprised. I want to cry, but it's almost like I'm too happy to cry. <laughs> I want to cry happy tears, but like I say, but I'm just so happy that the happiness is stopping the tears. <laughs> and it was her son Alexis who came up with the great idea to publish his mom's poetry. I always knew my mom's poems were really good, so I guess I, I came up with the idea maybe about a year ago, a year and a half ago, about publishing my mom's poems. And the idea for the surprise, uh, I guess, came about because she had handwritten all her poems and they were on all these different notebooks. Um, so it, it would have taken her a, lot, a long time to type them out. I don't think she would have actually gotten to doing it. So I just went ahead and typed them out all, all out for her and uh, I thought, it would be such a great time to give her the book on her 65th birthday. Mountains catch raindrops with open arms, the first to feel their soft, refreshing touch. The high elevation cannot contain their number. Droplets huddle together, forming silver ribbons. While most children would have a bedtime story read to them at night, my father read me the poems of Robbie Burns. So that's where I started my love of poetry. And what I really love about it is being able to put in few words what my deep feelings are. And I find that um, really, it is therapeutic and it's, it's almost as if a very, very much a part of me has been put onto paper and I find that just so amazing to look at. Victoria's new book covers a wide range of topics that are separated into seven different sections. I think each section can really speak to somebody uh, in a different way. So there's one section on nature uh, and maybe some people will just like to read that and it'll really speak to them. Uh, the section on uh, my mom's youth gives you an idea of her life in England and um, you know, her, her, uh, her section on family is also something that will touch a lot of different people in different ways. So I think uh, they could be read in sections by, uh, and, and give you a different understanding for who, who my mom is. If you'd like to get a copy of Victoria's book called 65 Years Till Now, visit engagebooks.ca. In Port Alberni, for Shaw TV, I'm Jenny Fortin.